So before I started recording this video, I literally had to delete some downloads off my phone because I'm low on storage and the last video I recorded, it literally cut off because of that. So, uh, stuff. Old stuff that I found in my grandparents' house. So that, that's where I am right now. And so my computer, in case you want to look on these iPods. Alright, so I got this. So uh, to start, I found this thing. I'm, gonna leave this in, I'm not showing these in order I found them, but I'm just showing what I find, think is cool. This is like, I found the box in there somewhere. It was like, this is like an old airport thing from Apple. Don't even know how this works, so never mind. Uh, this thing is a boxed iPad camera connecting kit with the 30 pin cables or connectors. I'm keeping this no matter what my grandparents say because this thing is, like, it's probably really rare. I mean, it's dented as you can see, but whatever. Alright, so uh, this thing. I found a bunch of cameras. So this is like an old Sony Cybershot. Yeah, they have like three Cybershots. I found one, two of one model, and this is the other one. It's a very odd design. Uh, this is a Sony Cybershot. It's pretty dead. Okay, once I'm done with stuff, I'm just going to put it on top of this pile of books. Actually, I'll just put it where it came from, actually. There's this pile. Unless it's um, iPad connector thing, because I'm keeping that. Uh, here. Alright, so... Apple stickers, I think they'll let me keep this. Um, and the, these two, these two containers literally contain the exact same model of Sony Cybershot, so I only, so I only have to show you one. Like the red and the black containers. Alright, so this is a old, um, wait, this thing's actually on it? Where's it open? There's a mini HDMI, that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, this is a Sony Cybershot with GPS apparently. And uh, this thing is cool. How do you open the camera? Juice casing. Uh, the power. See, I'm a, I'm a new generation. I don't know where the power is on these things. Oh, proprietary charger, of course. Uh, of course, it couldn't be the kind that just used batteries. Which usually I wouldn't be saying, but... <laughs> okay, this one's dead. I'm trying the other one. Sorry, you can't see that. I'm just, I'll show you something if something happens. Okay, this goes over here. And this one, literally like the exact same thing. Oh no, they are slightly different, but barely. No, neither of them work, so I never mind. The only difference is the button, so you don't really need to see the other one. Old sticky webcam. As Stankpod says, the rubber coating has turned to primordial ooze, and it's sticking to my fingers, so I'm putting this thing down. I will possibly give that to Philip. Um, this is an old iPod Nano first gen. I think these were called for fire hazards, so uh, let's just hope this doesn't combust. And then I also have like an old classic and an old Nano, or another old Nano. And this is an old LG phone that I found in my grandpa's dresser, which don't tell him that. And uh, it is old 32, 30, 3.2 megapixel camera, that is bad. By today's standards, it was probably good at the time, but, uh, I honestly don't even know what this thing is. I just randomly found it in his dresser, so. Yeah, don't ask me why I was looking in there. I just was. Um, how do I turn this on? This camera, um, this well, it doesn't have power, but, no, wait, here it is. That's just not what has a charge. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, it has no charge. I got it. Um, just gotta put this. I'm gonna go put this back in the dresser. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. This video has only been four minutes, but we're already down to the iPods and the cord. This isn't like some old Apple charger, charger and connector cord that I found randomly. Okay, into the computer you go. Hopefully, I don't have to format this. This one. Nothing is happening. Uh, I don't know how to uh, cut in data, like if I were to use OBS or something, so that would have to be a separate video, so I'm just going to record the screen. Hey, look! It's working. Barely. Charging, please wait. Okay. I think I've given this one a charge a couple times, but let's try this one. First of all, because I think it actually may still have a charge because it charged a few days ago. So. 
This one's booting. It's booting. Yes! I'm not formatting this. Please, iTunes, just let me read it. Oh, great! I have to use it with Macintosh. Oh, never mind. Luckily, we have a Macintosh. I thought it was my grandparents and I don't know the password, but we're gonna try the Macintosh. I hope it, like, is on or something. Hey, it's already on. Thank God. Plus, this is actually on their Apple ID, so... It probably works better than it would. Oh, great, there's already... Wait a minute. I forgot. We have a USB hub that looks like a person. But they have it, though. Here we go. USB hub that looks like a person. USB hub that looks like a person. I called it iBoy. Alright, I'm gonna just unplug whatever this is, and then I'm gonna plug it in again through the adapter thing. And I'm gonna plug in the adapter thing. Computer. Let me grab the cord, plug it into the adapter thing. Alright, it's booting. Alright, wheel up! Wheel up! Uh, I need to get some more. Alright, let's see. Um, spotlight. <laughs> holding the. Wait, am I holding the magic mouse backwards? Am I being an idiot? No, I think I got it right. I don't know if there's a dent in it, I think. Yeah, I can't tell what's wrong with this. You know, I'm definitely not holding it backwards. It just feels odd when I push. Anyway, uh iTunes. Let's tell you. You working? You can just hear the hard drive working. And just Alright, maybe this port ain't working because it showing up. Okay, I'll try another port. Oh great, it's not signed in. Okay, never mind. Uh, guess I'm ending this video early. Well, guess I'll just like show the iPods up closer. So kind of cancel. Okay, so never mind. Apparently, Maki never uses uh, um Maki never uses um iTunes on this thing. Uh. Windows doesn't have Task Manager. Okay, let's just uh. Back away slowly, so we have iPod Nano 1st gen, iPod Nano 6th gen, and classic that I never ended up being able to do either. Just a 8 gigabyte model. Pretty sleek. Just a quick video. You know. I actually used to have like an older one of the classics, it's just the headphone jacks that working when I got out to school a couple times, so. Anyway, goodbye.